Flight boss bitch, and you know um this is another curious video, and you know I'm looking at this website where it got like um where the moon, all the moon transits, like where the moon was at through every year and every month and every day. So you know, this is like a little moon table to like if you don't know someone's specific time they was born, but you know the day, um and the year, you can kind of go to this chart table right here. Uh, the website is uh, LibraRising.com and um, yeah you'll be able to see the person's moon sign okay now look there's a bigger a bigger clock I just got aware of and um it was it's pretty interesting now I'm gonna do a random date because I was looking at a few of these I'm, I'm gonna do a random date let's pick okay De December this is 1955 right now let's pick a, a date. Let's say December 9th. So a person born on December 9th of 1955, um, their birthday would have been in Scorpio. I mean, I mean, a person born in 1955, December 9th, the moon would be in Scorpio. You see that? Let's let's let this focus real fast. Hold on. December 9th. Scorpio, right? Now, it's interesting because there's like a bigger clock going on with the moon. Now, and it, it, it follows in trines. Let's go to 1956, December 9th. Let's see where that person's moon sign would be at. So look, this is, this is 1956, December 9th. Ha-ha, their moon is in Pisces, which is the fellow water sign. So it, it went into Pisces December 8th, and it doesn't go into Aries until de December 11th. So December 9th, their moon was in Pisces. Let's go to 1957, December 9th. Let's see where this moon person... Now, uh, it appears that it's going to be in Cancer. So we are 1957, right? December 9th. Cancer. It ain't going to Leo until December 10th. So December 9th, 1957 was Cancer. Now you see, out of those three years, every time December 9th came around, the moon landed in another water sign. So that three years created a water trine for the whole outlook of these the the date December 9th. So December 9th for them 3 years created a water trine. This is interesting. There's like a a bigger clock going on. Okay, let's 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 see what's going on in this uh let's let's see what's going on December 9th, 1958. Let's see, let's see what if if this is real what's going on. Now I just picked this date randomly. I did a few other dates, but I as I push record on the camera, I picked this randomly. 1958, December 9th, uh, Sagittarius. The moon goes into Sagittarius. So if you was born in 1958, December, the moon, December 9th, the moon was in Sagittarius. Now, the following fire sign is Aries, because Leo was before it. So if this, if this, if 1959, December 9th, moon ends up... Now, I'm straight freestyling this video, y'all. I did a couple other planets. I was in shock. Let me, so, I was like, let me just push record and then pick a date and let's see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is December 9th, 1958. Moon is, is in Sagitt uh, Sagittarius. Now, the next following fire sign is Aries. Now, this should confirm... That there's a bigger clock going on within the years, right? Let's do it. Okay, now we're in 1959. Let's go to December 9th. God motherfucking damn it. Ain't the motherfucking moon December 9th is in motherfucking Aries? It didn't go to Taurus until the 10th. So, you know, this leads me to believe that there's a larger clock going on. And, um... As soon as I wrap my mind around that and decipher that, you guys going to be getting a video because um, with this knowledge right here can open a door to another because, you know, next year, 1960, December 9th, 
your moon gonna be in Leo. I don't know. I don't even have to look at it. So um, yeah. That's fucking wild. So um, yeah, you're gonna be getting a video real soon of me uh breaking this down. Cause I need to break down this this the uh I need to unscrew this clock and and see what makes this clock tick. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is a bigger form of a clock going on with the moon right now, and it's creating trines throughout the year. Like every the every year on that same day, it's in another L is in another sign in the same element, and it creates a trine every three years. So um, the moon. It bees and so you know what I'm saying I I need to decipher this clock right now I'm trying to decipher while I'm talking at the same time but yeah we out flight boss bitch.